guys, what's up? I'm Andrew with Nautilus Spearfish and today we're going to be talking about inverted roller spear guns. Are they cool? Yes, they're very cool. Are they a little complicated? Maybe, but we like to keep things simple so we're going to do a quick overview on this pretty cool, uh, pretty cool one we put together the other day. And uh, we're actually going to have a pull testing video with the spear gun, uh, hopefully within the next week or two, and a, a couple other spear guns. We actually have access to a pool now, a private pool. Uh, so no one will be harmed in the video, so we hope. Uh, in any case, uh, check this thing out, guys. It's an inverted roller. How are they different from standard rollers? Well, all the bands, for one, the band load is all the way in the back. It doesn't run through the spear gun all the way through. You'll notice these bands are then attached to small pulleys, and those small pulleys lead to other pulleys that are all the way by the muzzle. So some advantages to this is that you can put a lot of power behind a single point of engagement on the shaft. So we actually have six 14 millimeter rubbers with the proper preload. It took us a little while uh, to figure the preload out, but we finally got it dialed in. Um, so it's a lot of moving parts, a lot of stuff going on here, but it does pay dividends, that's for sure. So imagine having a single roller. A single roller is pretty powerful. Now imagine having something along the lines of a double roller, which you'll see a lot of muzzles designed to have uh, double rollers. Now can you imagine something along the lines of a triple roller, and quite honestly this is more along the lines of what we have just created. This would be something along, you know, having about, you know, three roller bands on a single spear gun, which is honestly a lot of power. Um, it's done cleverly in the sense that all the, ba uh, the bands, are, all the preload is on the back of the gun. This is going to help a little bit with some of the recoil for sure, and it's very efficient in transferring the power. And then if you look at the top, you know, you'll notice it's it actually looks kind of weird. It's very thinned out here. The wheels are very small and thin because all they got to do is um, is roll with the uh, Dyneema. There's no bands rolling through the wheels here on the pulleys. So why is that beneficial? There's a, well, the main reason uh, that I like to think about is think hydrodynamics. So if you have a 14 or 60 millimeter band running over the top of the spear gun, when you shoot it, you have that volume. Uh, uh, you know, kind of being displaced against the water, so it's trying to push through the water and cut through the water. What's going to be more efficient in cutting through water? That piece of 1.8 millimeter Dyneema or a 14 or 16 millimeter band? You do the math. So obviously a little bit more efficient. Just looks kind of weird when you load it, you don't see any bands on top. All you see is a piece of string. Um, not a lot of recoil on a gun like this depending on the band configuration and the shaft configuration but that's pretty much the gist of it on inverted rollers. I know I'm missing other technical things but we're trying to keep it simple. Now uh, another thing to consider is you have two pulleys. You got a bottom pulley you got a top pulley. What that does is it gives you a lot of leverage. So when you go to load it back it's actually a little bit easier than if just uh, you know just having a single pulley on there. Now how do you load this spear gun? If I were to keep all that preload on there, we have quite a bit of power on this spear gun. We could have done four bands but we threw six of them on here. Um, took us a little while to figure it out honestly guys. We had to retie these things like three freaking times. Uh, one thing you want to make sure is that the pulleys don't hit the muzzle because then you can't load this thing and utilize the full band stretch of it. Anyway, that's just over complicating things. So what we're going to do to load this gun up because right now if I try to load it, uh, it's pretty damn tight. I'm not going to be able to load that. I mean, I'm a pretty strong guy. I work out, but nah, not like that. <laughs> All right. So what we're actually going to do here is you'll notice there's two, there's, uh, two bands that we can actually kick off on the bottom here. One is anchored. We cannot uh, change the anchor position on that. It's locked in. So what we're going to do is remove these two bands. We're going to take this bottom one out and the middle one out. And that leaves only one band engaged. By the way, the real line you'll notice is running over the top of it. You want to make sure it does that. If you do it the other way around, you can be in big trouble. Anyway, so uh, now what that does, I have uh, a lot less preload. With, <laughs> with, uh, with less preload, I can actually grab on now to that wishbone. And it's going to be a whole lot easier. It's probably the wifey calling me. If you're out there listening, babe, I'm sorry. I'm doing a YouTube video, okay? So what we're going to do is you'll notice the, uh, the pulleys moving up as I load the band, uh, load the technically the wishbone. I'm not going to load it now out of the water, but basically let's just say I would put it there. What would then happen is you would have these bands would be hanging out all the way over there. I would flip the gun at that point and then load up these two bands on that back anchor position. At that point, then your spear gun is technically ready to go shoot. 
We're gonna get a little more in depth with it uh, when we do the pool testing video. I just kind of wanted to. The wifey is persistent. Let me let me see that real quick. Sorry, YouTube. Hold on one sec. We do not edit our videos. Hey, babe. Hey. Hey, uh, I'm doing a I'm doing a YouTube video. Can I call you back? Sure. Call me. All right. Call you back. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, that's pretty much the gist of it. You also notice that the uh, the bands, when we go to load them back on the bottom, it's kind of nice to mark them which one's the bottom one. You'll notice we put a little Sharpie mark on it. This tells me that that's the, the last band I want to load because you do have to kind of put them in a position where they they kind of stay nice and organized and streamlined. So basically that would do it right there. Cool. So, right there, see? Nice and... Uh, the positioning on all the bands has to be nice and even so that the pulleys are uh, you know are even if the pulleys are off by a little bit it could throw the shot off in any case guys hope you enjoyed the video a little introduction into the world of inverted roller spear guns uh, we will be posting hopefully two videos after this one one is this bad boy in action in the pool two hopefully we can do a how-to video on how to put one together but uh, I will need some editing help for that one for sure so, catch you later, YouTube. A lot of love, and uh, see you soon.